Being part of a community and feeling part of a community is important. It gives us all a sense of belonging and a spirit of being neighbourly. The Metro is a name that resonates with many of us for the underground train system in Paris, which links communities and where we can go for a ride and explore. The Metro is also the name of the tram system that links communities in the northwest of the UK, where we can also go for a ride. However, there is another Metro, Metro prepaid electricity meters, a Metro that takes us for a ride and not a pleasant one. Whilst it could be said that I'm sharing negativity, which in this case is true, it's sometimes necessary to do so in order to bring injustices to light so changes can be made and negativity can be turned into positivity. Metro prepaid meters are installed by landlords and are sub-meters for tenants. This means that tenants do not have direct access to their electricity companies and can buy electricity by downloading the app and paying online or by physically going to a shop to top up their Metro prepayment card. The meters are very often installed by landlords without giving an option to the tenants and leaving them with no choice but to accept the unwanted guest in their home or go without electricity. The tenants then purchase electricity to input into their meter with a code that's 20 digits long. Imagine for a moment going into your local grocery store or supermarket and purchasing £20 worth of groceries. Upon paying £20 at the counter, cashier or till, you then find you'll receive £14 of groceries and not the £20 that you've paid for. The Metro prepayment meters act in exactly that way. You purchase £20 of electricity, you're deducted £3.12 for a service fee, £1.78 for a standing charge and 52 pence for VAT or tax, meaning that for £20 you have actually received £14.58p worth of electricity. Ah, but every household in the UK, according to the UK government, is to receive £400 paid to them in instalments, even mobile homes and caravans. Apparently, for those with prepaid meters, it will automatically top up on account and those with traditional payment meters will receive vouchers which can be cashed in at prepayment centers or post offices. Really? Unfortunately, not so. Not everybody will benefit from this, as this government has stated. It was expected that 52.8 million was to be paid out for this process. However, only 27 million has been redeemed, according to reports by the BBC and The Guardian newspaper. People with these meters pay £50 a year more than other households for their energy. Companies like Metro are targeting the very people who are meant to be helped by the scheme. These are hard-working people who pay their taxes, including their council tax, and are very often on the lowest wages. It also includes workers who, but for the sake of a fourth-dimensional robotic hologram that called itself a politician some time ago and moved the goalposts, would have been retired by now and yet find themselves struggling with more years ahead of them on manual labour and shift work to reach the final destination of retirement. Many landlords who have several properties to rent form companies and the rented properties are part of these companies. Therefore, the tenants do not have a direct relationship with their energy supplier as this is maintained through the landlord. In such cases, the government has assumed that the £400 rebate will be passed down to the tenants from the landlord, which is not always the case. Unfortunately, when it comes to finance, we can never assume anything. Take the example of a payroll officer in an accounts department of a company. The tax and national insurance are deducted from the wages of each employee. It's now the responsibility of the company to ensure that this money is forwarded onto HMRC as swiftly as possible. And if this is not done within a certain time frame, then fines are allocated to the company for withholding payment. Perhaps this is food for thought for both landlords and the government. Just saying. <laughs>